Right, I'm going to show you how to make this very simple adapter to be used on the um, Chinese mini lathe or the Myford lathes and it enables you to use some um, power tools to do compound turning. And later in the video I'll show it being both used on the Chinese mini lathe and the Myford ML7 lathe. So firstly I start off with a one inch diameter piece of bar and I part off a length of about 38 millimetre. Lock the saddle. And I've um, locked the compound slide.
So if you're milling like this with a tool post vise, you can actually take the tool post off and check it for size on the compound there. That's a little bit tight. And then you know that when you put the tool post back on, it's going to go back into exactly the same position. And to get the width right with the 12 millimeter um, end mill, I'm just going to have to bring it up a little bit and take a skim off of one side. So it took a few throw off that lower side there and now it's the perfect fit. So that's the adapter finished. You see how I pushed the bit into the back of the brass with the force of the vise. You don't need any Loctite or anything if you use a 6.7 millimeter drill. You'll find it would be tight enough and be absolutely solid. And um, you push it through so it just comes into the back of the hole there. If you come through too far, you can actually put the adapter in the vise like that and drift it back a bit. And you can use these adapters, like I said, in the cordless screwdrivers or the cordless drill. So now I'm setting the mini lathe up for compound turning. And if you're new to these lathes, to get the angle on the compound, you have to wind the compound slide right the way back 
until you reveal these two screws here and then you slacken them off and then set the angle that you require on the compound and relock the screws or the allen bolts And that's all there is to it. So it's all set up and ready to go. I've actually taken a few cuts by hand just to see that the tool's cutting nice. You've got to make sure that the compound's wound back far enough so that you have the full length of travel for the actual cut and so that it's nicely supported. And you can see there, this is a piece of mild steel. I'm getting quite a nice finish on that. And that's because um, when you're doing it manually, you have to re-grip the handle, obviously. And every time you stop, you get a little line or whatever, so you get a bad finish. And doing a continuous cut with the um, screwdriver um, gives you that much better finish. And if you're using a cordless screwdriver like this one, they're quite fast, so you have to have the spindle speed quite high, over a thousand revs or more. Unless you use a cordless drill with a slower speed. Now I've got the same sort of setup on my Myford ML7, a piece of mild steel in the chuck there. Now my lathe only has a top spindle speed of 850 RPM, so if I used the cordless power um, screwdriver, it's a bit fast for that and would produce quite a liney finish. It's alright for quick roughing out, but for better finishes I'd have to use the cordless uh, power drill.
and that's it and there you can see a really good finish on my old steel